Hello A plus traders, this are set examples for the price action course. Uh, so far we have looked at the um, price action trading, we have looked at Fibonacci applications, we have looked at the best way to trade chart patterns and we have also looked at in-depthly on risks and money management techniques. So let's just do one or two examples so you can get a better um, explanation of what we discuss in the four models of the price action course on the live charts we are going to look at some currency pairs and try to know where how to use all what we discuss to to get a proper market analysis and trading but before we continue kindly subscribe to this youtube channel a plus trading hub and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates okay which page should we start with let's start with a uh, gbp aud oh what is happening on this pair remember whenever you are doing analysis you should do a top to bottom analysis what i mean by this is you need to do your analysis from the higher time frame to the lower time frame so you start from the weekly start from the weekly to do your analysis you can drop it to the daily to the four hour to the one hour or 30 minutes if you are a day trader on this chart here we have noticed that price have been trending down for more than six months and there was an accumulation phase within here this was an accumulation phase see the the green shaded area is the accumulation phase if you notice price was trending from this was from august 2015 till september 2016 remember we said an accumulation phase is seen after price have declined for over six months so if we should count the date from august 2015 to 2016 august that is more than six months so price have been trending lower till price found support within this zone then that is when the accumulation phase started you see price price was not trending rather it was moving sideways so after this period of time price broke out here and there was a retest and you can see clearly here we had a bullish engulfing candlestick formation when price was making a retest so that was a good signal to buy remember i said when you see the buy signal you buy a candle close in this case this was the candle close here you buy a candle close which is here and your your 50 pips away from the signal candle let's say your 50 pips was here within this region you notice that even when price came back to retest the breakout zone it didn't hit your stop loss rather you see it consolidating before pushing up though it will take a bit time before you be on profit well at least you understand the concept there but as a as a as a swing trader or as a long-term investor you don't just look at catching a small piece of the move so after the breakout we see clearly that price has been trending higher and higher this is what i really want to show you so pay attention so after price broke out from this accumulation phase it started the advancing phase and you can see series of higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows so right now price is still pushing up so what you need to do here is you go to a a time frame lower one time frame lower so we head to the daily time frame oh let me even show you something here this was a bearish flag it was a bearish flag this is how a bearish flag looked like see how i identify the flag and just as i said you need to use this 
date and price range to calculate the number of pips so you pick the two you, you click and drag from here to here to the bottom over 790 pips so you measure it and you also see price move exactly that same length of the first impulse so this was the first impulse here over 790 pips and after the bearish flag formation price continued the same 790 pips so that is what i was explaining on the chart on the uh, on the course during the model 3 on the model 3 how to trade the uh, bearish flag pattern that the take profit should be exactly the same number of pips as the first impulse so back to what we were discussing now on this page in gbp aud price is still pushing up and as we can see here on the daily time frame we are still having an, a move to the upside you see this price is still moving up so we need to go to the lower time frame to fine tune our entries and exits so we go to 4 hour on the 4 hour this is where you observe the uh, you look out for the chart patterns and you also look at the candle of the bodies if they are getting bigger or they are getting smaller so from what we have seen you see this is an impulse here this is these are impulsive move the candlestick bodies are big they are they are getting they are getting bigger look at it here the bullish candlestick are getting bigger and whereas the bearish candlesticks are smaller so this is how you spot an impulse a momentum so the momentum is still strong the bullish momentum is still strong because we are seeing big body candles to the upside big bullish candles so since we are still seeing the momentum to the upside we look at for chart patterns so this is a possible flat pattern here so you pick your trend line and plot this out like this this is your trend line if you, if you notice very well price have made one two touch so you are waiting for the test touch before a breakout so price have made this is the first touch yet of the trend line this is the second one so we are expecting a third touch before the breakout when you pre-identify a scenario like this you wait for price to come back and retest this level again before you look for buying opportunities so when you see price come back down here to this zone and you see some bullish impulse from here again or bullish candlestick formation that is when you buy then you place your stop loss at least 50 pips away from that candle and your take profit will be exactly the same number of pips as this first impulse here let's just assume we set a pending order here and we want to set our TP so we measure the first impulse using this date and price range we measure from here to here and we place it from where we are going to have our pending order price which is here let's zoom out so that you can see better uh -huh. so you can see now up here this price the let me plot it horizontal line there okay so this 1.88801 price level will be our take profit so when you use this to calculate you can now take out this date and price and you mark that zone to be your take profit so all you need to do is wait for price to retest the trend line support of your uh, bullish flag and you take a buy entry from there to this point so let's look at a risk to reward how our risk to would be like on here so you come here take long position to click on it then this is where we're going to set our pending order then we drag it we drag the target to the upside to where we have the 1.88801 so that is it and our stop loss should be at least 50 pips away from the signal candle if you look at this this is the risk to reward the risk to reward tool i use this tool on trading view to calculate my risk to reward. you see the risk to reward being written here 
11.51 your risk to reward on, on this trade now you are risking one percent of your trading accounts to earn and um, 11 percent of your trading account these are the kind of trades you should be taking you see how you take advantage of this chart patterns formation to better time our entries and exits on a trade so this tool now gives you this is 52 pips here that means you are risking 52 pips and you are earning 608 pips on this particular trade but if you are not greedy you can reduce your risk to reward like me i'm a swing trader i may not really wait until price reach here i may likely reduce it to this highs i reduce it to this high then i like giving my trade a little bit allowance so when i adjust it this way my stop loss is now 79 pips while my take profit is now 254 pips and it's giving me a total of 1 is to 3.2 risk to reward for example i'm risking one dollar to earn 3.2 dollar and it's a good risk to reward so this is how you you use this risk to reward technique combined with the price action strategy of uh, we discuss and also the chart patterns as i merge everything together to get a good trade setup so that is how you analyze the charts let's look at another currency pair let's look at the euro usd all right let's start with the daily time frame on euro usd let's see what price has been doing okay this is a clear example so this is a clear example of a distribution phase let me mark out this point pick the rectangle tool and mark out this point so you can see after over six months price was trending up from november 2017 to january 2018 so after a long period of an uptrend price found resistance within this zone here and started a distribution phase after some months price broke down so you see how you use the higher time frame to know these phases of the market so price broke down and there was a retest you see this candle here this particular candle here with a week to the upside that was a retest let's go to the lower time frame to see that retest clearly so we go to the four hour time frame remember to always do a a top to bottom analysis a top to bottom analysis will help you doing your analysis from the higher time frame to the lower time frame so on this euro usd chart now we started our analysis on the daily time frame and now we are for our time frame All right so i've gotten that point this is it so this was the accumulation phase here and see how price broke out and retest this is where price broke out and the retest didn't really come up to touch the the breaker zone where we saw a pullback remember i said anytime you see sometimes price may not really retest but will do something like this a pullback so you could have joined you should have joined the trend when price broke down of the pullback so your entry will be here and your stop loss will be around here while you ride the trend to the downside this is another example of a bearish pennant here you see how it's looking that is a bearish pennant there it happened then price moved exactly the same number of pips that that moves from here to here let's measure that up see price also made that same move and hits the take profit so this pattern this chart pattern really works both on the higher time frame but right now there's a possibility that price is going into an accumulation phase again if we should look at this chart clearly price has been moving on a downtrend price has been moving on a downtrend this is a downtrend but price found support at this region here so price is now technically moving in an accumulation phase so you use your trend line to mark out the 
accumulation phase you see the euro usd currently now is moving in accumulation phase so we are waiting for price to test here again test here and before a breakout so that is what we are looking out for so this is an accumulation phase and let's look at the body of the candles are they getting steep see this was a this was a downtrend but you see that the pullbacks are getting steeper the pullback candles are getting steeper the bullish candles are getting steeper so this is a sign that price may reverse soon and right now price is making a flat pattern to push down that's a that is a very flat pattern to push down before a move to the upside for the final move to the upside which may likely break through this resistance level here so let's also use NZD card as another example as we can see on this chart and uh, price was trending higher from here to here so over a long period of time price entered on a, a distribution phase here let's, let me mark that out it was a distribution phase here so you see price after a move to the upside was ranging there was no clear movement price was just ranging from this point there was no clear trend it was just ranging just like that until we saw this breakout and we test so looking at the chart now price broke down and retest and continue pushing down and making a series of lower highs and lower lows from what i'm seeing on this chart now this is a bullish flag you can spot this chart patterns on any time frame so this one is on the daily now so this is a bearish pennant on the daily time frame let's see a potential take profit target we measure it from here to here why i'm measuring it from there is that this was a previous swing low here you see this was a previous swing low here so when price broke out of there and we test so that is when we had the new impulse move so we measure it from there to here let's see what will happen so right now we can still continue selling nzd card until it reaches this bottom here so all you need to do now is go to the lower time frame maybe the 4 hour and look for selling opportunities from the lower time frame so you can go to the 4 hour what is happening on the 4 hour okay still seeing price pushing up correctively here no clear rejection hit yet so you can let's check the one hour if we see a clear rejection all right we have a signal on the one hour time frame you can see the inverted hammer in there and the bearish engulfing candle so it's a signal for it's a signal for me so you can sell from here now placing your stop loss at least 50 pips away from here if you want to calculate 50 pips away from this signal we take the date and price range and measure from the candlestick week, the signal candlestick week day, and push it up. So 50 pips, and uh, that's 50. So your stop loss will now be at that level there. Your stop loss will be at the 84403 level, and your TP will be below. So you see how I'm using that date and price range to measure 50 pips away from my signal candle. So your stop loss will now be at this zone and your entry will be here when take profit will be way down like that should be let me calculate from here so that take profit will be over 139 pips so that will be a good trade for us let's look at another example let's pick euro switch france so this is euro switch france let's start from the higher time frame the weekly oh this is very very good so on the weekly this is an head and shoulder pattern this is a shoulder this is the head 
and this is the right shoulder. You can see the head is higher than the shoulders. You can see the head is higher than the shoulder, and this was the neckline here. There is a there is a tool to um, plot this on your chart. Let me look at let me look for the tool. So this is the tool here, head and shoulders. So you can use it to plot the impulsive like left shoulder, head, and the right shoulder. So you can use this tool to plot your head and shoulder. But I don't really like using it makes my chart dating. So I spot it clearly with my eyes. Then all I do is use the trend line tool to map my neckline. I use the trend line tool to map my neckline. So you can see as price broke through the neckline from here and retested it again. And the retest was there was a signal there, there is a bearish engulfing pattern there, and price trend lower. Though there was a rectangle formation here before price continued trending lower. So if we should look at the TP as I always say. Let's measure it from the resistance zone to the neckline was over 500 pips so let's measure it from the neckline down you can also see price have reached the final take profit so you can still trade this pair why i say so is this was the final take profit here this was the final take profit here and it's a key level you see you will see price rejection from here price rejection here price retesting here price confluence here so that is a key level so recently price broke broke down of that support and we tested it giving us a signal and a bearish pain barrel so this is a good opportunity to sell and you sell back down to this support zone here and that support zone is the let me plot horizontal level there that support zone is the 1.06201 price zone so you, you can sell now and your final take profit will be at the 1.0620 price level so that is all the examples we can take for now and go through all the models again if there's what you don't understand kindly comment on this video i'll give you my explanation and more set examples so you understand better don't forget to subscribe to this channel a plus trading hub follow us on all social media facebook instagram twitter and if you want to discuss with me directly you can whatsapp me and whatsapp me on 0703-933-5695 that is my whatsapp number you can whatsapp me directly if you wish to enroll for the pro traders course so that you can learn more of pro trading click the link below this video and enroll for the pro trader course thank you for your time don't forget to subscribe to this channel